there. Right, let's go on then. What about, let's talk about actually a good team. Let's talk about G2. So here's mm -hmm. the question, Kira, is do you actually think, because there was moments in the other split where you could see some flaws. You could see certain players maybe before the final work play as well. Do you actually see any any areas to be worried about G2? Are they? Is it easy enough because everyone's doing it? Will they just win this split? Will they be the number one team? Yeah, like, G2 shouldn't, like, ever lose a split. Like, even the split that they lost, I think people kind of somewhat forget, like, the fashion in which they lost it. Like, it took some concerning things to happen for them to lose. Yes, other games were played, but uh, they were dicey. And uh, here's the thing, I, I thought to Rich about this. Like, I literally said this. Every single time G2 loses to someone, I can assure you the next time they play them, or it's close, it'll be scorched earth. Like, right. they, nearly lost to, they nearly lost to XL. They might be, like, the best at, like, fixing their own problems of, like, any, like, of the teams right. in, like, Europe. Like, for example, at Worlds, see when they lost to NA, I, I would have said to them, like, they lost those games to NA. They were totally legit losses. But if G2 were to play them again, I would say to you there's not a high, life in hell they would, like, they would lose. They would, like, annihilate them because they are so good at learning from their own, like, mistakes. Um, so in saying that, they're even scarier because Caps is just playing at, like, an unbelievable level right now. So when... Last year, I gave the consideration. I didn't think Caps was always playing that well. And he had some, like, dicey moments within splits. And so they were, they were somewhat, like, beatable, particularly in, like, the execution comp eras. But if Caps is going to play like this it's over and if teams are going to give them smolder man like if any team knows how to just hold map position and scale until an adc comes into the game it's fucking g2 like what were people thinking man like you're basically told han sama i can give you a true damage dealing reposition flying wave clearing aphelios and han sama just went sound i'll take that and like bro han sama wasn't even like great on the pick and anything he just killed every everyone just died on screen mate like g2 didn't in the KC game, KC were 0-6 up, 4,000 gold. KC couldn't figure out how to break midsection. And I literally, I was watching it with friends. I said, you could delete Yike from the game right now. You wouldn't need Yike and they'll win the game. Like, that's how much damage and how like easy it was going to be for G2. Because even though KC had gotten the early lead, they didn't know have any idea on how to end the game. And they didn't know what to do against Smolder. So they still look like the best team. Interestingly enough, if you want to talk about weaknesses of the team... Don't think Han Sam and Mickey X have been playing out bot lanes that well, and that's kind of been somewhat consistent across it. Like, um, I think also G2's understanding around bot lane and bot lane timings, uh, I think it might be like the third best of like the collective team of like all three players. Like, I actually think that's Mad Lion's win condition against G2 is that they understood like the bot lane fights and timings better than G2 did. And I think at times Fnatic were better than them, but then like Fnatic were just fuck ups in other regards. So G2 would still win the game. So in that sense, I've actually somewhat regressed from last split because I think that's actually how they, they won the majority of last bit was that they were the best. Yike, Mickey X, Hans Sama were the best three players around bot lane and just won every single bot lane like skirmish. So they've been weaker in that consideration, but they are a massively impressive team. Um, B, like put it this way, I am not someone who thinks like BB is like the greatest player or the best like Western top laner at all times, but. I'm also someone that says he probably uses the fact that he's on G2 the best of any player because when you give him, like, counterpick, he really does actually, like, use it. There's, like, a depth of play there. Um, and he has, like, he has some really big game moments in, like, mid-game. Um, he, like, helps out. And if you listen to comms, in terms of, like, team fight coordination and all that, a lot of that stuff seems to come from, like, BB. He has, like, a big voice in the team, so... I think they look somewhat unstoppable. If they lose the split, I will be unbelievably supply surprised because I think they are just so far ahead of everyone else. And in playoffs, they get two shots at it unless you beat them in the finals. So I I, I don't know. I don't know what the realistic win condition is. I, I said this to Rich. I think the only team that can practically beat them when both teams play well, so regardless of people just ending and just like, having a moment, like, live on air, like, which can happen to any player. It's, you, we've seen it, Chova does it, Knight does it, can happen. Outside of that, if both players, the teams play very, very well, I genuinely think only Fnatic beats them. Like, and that's only sometimes. Like, G2 could still win those games. So, I don't, I'm not too sure. They, they are very, very, very good.
One of the things I think is so OP and makes this team almost unfair is they not only in each row, especially now, have like almost the best player in the LEC. And also we know it works together. But then let's just add in their coach's specialty the whole time in league is draft and baiting people in to Yu-Gi-Oh! or Slyle, you have activated my trap card drafts, right? And then bro, look at the fucking players he has in terms of champion pool. He has Mickey X, Hansa the Joker Hans Samer is right. Yeah, even though in theory needs his champions. You also have to ban them every game, and now you have to ban Smolder as well. So that means just for Hans Samer, I have to ban three things. Mickey X already plays a bunch of flexes. Broken Blade even plays them, and Caps even has a whole bunch of, like, bro, he's also got all, this is like the dream team for Dylan Falco, I can see why he re-signed with this exact five squad, like, why not just run it back, essentially I get to choose what happens in the game now, it's what's awesome, and I'm with you as well, like, if you look at the team right now it's already unfair that they have the best team and like I said, the best team, the best draft, the best fucking champion pools let's just throw in there, that would like past couple of years, at the moment it really does look like Caps just wakes up, like, time to win today, and then he just wins the game, and like, and and if he ch wakes up like that, there is no counter. That you just lose that game. And if anything, you just be glad it's a B01. Like there's some of these games he's playing in this last split and a half. Like he just you, no one could have stopped him. Like he this is why he had that status three or four years ago. It's like like maybe he's like a top ten player in the world. Never mind like the best Europe. Maybe he's just like as good. Maybe he is better than like BDD. That was like a real conversation back in the day. Just to fight. Well, he's back in that category now, boys. So yeah, I just think they're too OP. Like I I, I don't even buy the angle, even though I, I get the logic of why people think. Think Fnatic can because obviously you think of like in your brain if Oscar and has the best lane in phase and then Razor gets rolling and Humanoid does a few mechanics outplays like he's one of the only players that can potentially can outplay caps like you've got pieces there but even so here's the problem bro maybe maybe there's a universe where you get lucky and you can draw them in the BO threes Fnatic yeah. ain't winning two BO fives against this yeah, game bro exactly. it ain't happening it just ain't <laughs> happening see more cool funny interesting clips based on topics from my content well subscribe to this channel then or you know be a pleb and don't